you're talking. Oh, hey. thanks. Uh, but, um, yeah, if you haven't already, go check out all the videos we did building the building the driveway. You know, the old driveway has been chained off. Um, after repeatedly telling the mail guys not to access the property via it. They now all drive a new driveway and they actually say it's better. Um, we've actually just ordered a skip bin as well for some of the trash up the back where we had those bird cages from the previous owners. Um, kind of an area you don't really see a lot, but this is just a storage area. You know, my trailer sits here. My only trailer at the moment sits here. I sold my box trailer. I'm actually trying to sell this as well. Because I barely ever use the car trailers, you see we use it to go get conduits. We've got mesh sitting up there, proper slab mesh. So we're building our big shed. Um, right now we're literally, I'm literally waiting on a machine to come and dig a bit. Um, we had Pam's dad moving dirt around and putting in proper compactable fill. This one's just having a time of our <laughs> life. Okay, off camera, well on camera, you wouldn't know we have a bird problem. We actually dealt with that bird problem. Um, they're not dead. Half of them are up on the power pole sulking. It's been like two weeks since they haven't been able to access our solar panels. Yeah, they're a bit unhappy, but... So, we put mesh around all the solar panels. So I actually got a bloke in to do it. Um, because it was cheaper. Oh, it's not too bad, not... It's not the cheapest price I had. And he cleaned everything. He cleaned out the gutter of all the crap. He cleaned the whole entire roof. He's actually coming back to fix up a couple little things because uh, the birds have got through in one spot. So, we've also done some gardening. We've moved all the gardens from over the other side. Um, the dogs have been digging in said garden. Yeah, there's a certain uh, white and brown puppy dog that thinks it's a great little mm. sleeping spot. So, yeah, we moved all our gardens. Uh, we kept our capsicums and stuff. We think they're dying, so that's what it is. It is what it is. Our fence for the dogs, bloody mint. Their yard just stays open. You've got Pan's Cruiser hidden under the cup under the patio. Um, but our next stage right now, which is in, in between a lot, trying to get like machinery organized, get Pam's dad down here with the Kubota, trying to get another machine organized because the Kubota is good for bulk work because of the machine's age and it's never really had like the bushes and stuff redone properly in years they've all worn out so it's kind of hard to get it to dig properly so i'm waiting on a machine to do that um you would have seen we had the burn put in which is bloody awesome the horses are the back at the moment so living a good retired life they are yeah <laughs> And the process is getting rid of that horrid green birdcage. Yeah. So we've got to skip organised. I'll let you just finished organising it for this week. So we can get rid of that. And then we're going to build a stable for the big bozo. So, it's, you know, this takes time. But right now, well, once the groundwork is done, I am actually going to record the shed. Um, like our concrete pour day, our foundation, our foundation work and all that. Because I don't think you guys really want to see the machine moving around a heap. More than he's already More than he's already had, you know, he's already seen this sort of stuff. We've also got like four trucks of fill out the front at the moment, we've got to spread out.
finally finishing the place off, finally, and you know, I finally cleaning it up to the point we want. Um, Freya's got her cage. We're actually looking for a buddy for Freya at the moment. Fingers crossed we hear back soon about one. Yeah, fingers crossed we hear back about Milo. Um, name may or may not change. We'll probably keep it. It's a cute name. Um, you don't like Milo? I do, but Milo and Freya, it's... Yeah. I can't call it Odin, I already did that. Yeah, she already had an Odin. So. We've also got Rose Gardens at the front here now. Um, because I used to have them. They used to be beside that pathway. So I had my mum down here a while, a couple of weeks ago. Um, coming in? Sure. Yeah, my mum was down here for a week and a half. So I was like, well, I'm going to put you to work. I'm going to get you to move some roses. And in here is the cat enclosure we built. We just have to make sure the door stays shut because little Miss Houdini over here busted out on her first night. So she's in there. Hey. Hiya. She's half asleep. Hey, focus mouth. So, yeah, great little enclosure for her. She enjoys being in a cat scratching post during the night. She goes back up into that one. monetize for YouTube we make no money off YouTube we don't have sponsors we don't have collaborative collaborative collaborators collaborators my English isn't good today so, you know it, yeah I'd, I'd love to be yeah I'd love to do this every day as, a, as an actual job and be paid for it but I'm not ham works I'm obviously a stay-at-home dad taking care of this one which is a full-time job in itself yeah but, you know it'd be great if you guys hit like and subscribe and i am actually thinking of going out to a patreon that way we can just get a little bit of a <laughs> assistance because cameras aren't cheap editing software is not cheap um <laughs> and we got a toddler that's trying to grab gopro all the time <laughs> hey at least she likes the gopro yeah so it's it is what it is we'll get there so this is just kind of a little update for those yeah, that update, are interested so. in following along but yeah it's kind of it's kind of good you know what well, with uh 17th of june yep. so you guys are literally seeing this in, in three days <laughs> so the other thing we've done um a couple of things actually of course we got our insurance for all the stuff we lost um we're very concerned about the water from the birds around the roof so we've put in a nice big double filter and uv charger um we've also had to move our gas bottles and then there's a sneaky little unit hidden under there um this is all stuff i could have filmed i, I could have filmed but I felt like it wouldn't make a proper video for you guys. But you know, we got the in You know, I gotta kick the boots off. So. so yeah, inside we got brand new aircon. We also upgraded the TV. Um, my TV I've had for four and a half years. And. I got sick of him complaining. <laughs> well, I got I got sick and of it kept playing up. And yeah. having issues and So we also put a brand new lounge suite in our lounge room. So instead of just Bye bye recliners. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell I'm happy? 
yeah. We've also got a rug, um, a little miss to crawl around on, just to, you know, she slips off the couch when she's trying to climb and stand. She doesn't Something land. Something she can headbutt without hurting herself. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're just slowly getting there, you know. You can buy a house, but love and all that makes it a home, that jazzy stuff, <laughs> that gooey stuff. So. He tried. <laughs> Mm. But no, it's it's all coming along and it's <laughs> hey. This one always helps make worthwhile. Hang on. Take that out. Hey. 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 <laughs> You're a cutie. <laughs> yeah, the dog chewed on my finger this morning. Someone was teasing it with a squeaky ball. Mm. So yeah, there's kind of all. You know, we've we did a little fencing end of last year, start of this year. We just finished more fencing. Um, but you know, there's the big expensive things now. You know, the shed isn't cheap, even though I thought buying the shed kit second hand would get rid of a big expensive ticket. You know, what shed kits are worth? That shed kit's probably worth brand new in the realm of. 25 30k um it's 10 grand in concrete to put under it so and then there's two grand to wire it five grand to insulate it because it gets hot out here and cold out here in the winter you tell them <laughs> yell them so. but yeah kind of you know just kind of settling down finally Finally slowing down, it is also the middle of winter, so. Slowing down, taking it all in. And... Yeah, just finally, I'm no longer out there all day, every day. I'm finally, you know, I haven't really touched the camera actually in three weeks. I could have gone and filmed stuff last week, but I didn't feel like going and doing that. Um, there was other vloggers anyway who went and done that. So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, so. Big trips. Just wait for this one to be a bit older. Yeah. Alright. If you're still here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye!